This is Frank. It's time for an oil change. The van's name is Frank. The man helping us is Nathan's stepdad. His name's Tom. I've never personally changed my car's oil, so it's time to learn. Here's your, here's your oil pan right here. He just told me to crawl under here and then they all left. We haven't mentioned yet, but this car was bought in the south, meaning it doesn't have any of the salt and rust in the undercarriage that most Michigan cars have. Does it come in the way? No, well, oops, geez, sorry. No, you're fine, do you want me to get that? You. Yeah, it's by you. <laughs> I'm just this, waiting this for this to shoot out. This one's gonna be messy because of your exhaust pipe right here. Yep. So it's gonna leak all over the exhaust it's pipe. It's gonna leak all over the exhaust pipe. No offense, but I'm just gonna jump out of here yeah, if it starts spraying yeah. elsewhere. That might not be a bad idea at some point. Because it's going to start. <laughs> like a professional. Sort of. Yeah, I'm learning a lot. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. It's like why in the world is that pipe right there? Like, why would they... I know, isn't that weird? It's just flowing over there. <laughs> the good news is we'll be able to wipe the pipe off and yeah. everything will be fine. So it's not making too big a mess. That's yeah. good. Yeah, wait, what is this part now? This is the oil filter. Oops. Oh. See? And it does the same thing. It runs so any place it gets a chance. Weird. This is why a lot of people pay to have the oil change. Yeah. That makes sense. Here. What's this? Frosty. Oh. I see you only have one spoon. <laughs> well, I was thinking of bringing a three, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> We're Sosa's at Sunrise, AKA the Gruesome Twosome. We're here to introduce you to Frank, our 1990 Dodge Explorer. be old but there's a lot to love about this van first there's a ton of storage space there's a full table that can fold away this might not look like a lot of counter space however there's a flip up counter on the other side of the stove although Frank is 30 years old there's only 79,000 miles on this thing and a factory fresh radio there's a full shower with a 40 gallon fresh water tank and a composting toilet. A full bed with a six inch memory foam topper. With everything that we love about this van, there's still a lot of upgrades that we would like to add before we hit the road. Number one thing is to add solar power. We need enough power to work and charge all of our equipment. That was the number one thing missing from the van that we rented. Although this is one of the best RV coolers on the market, it's a little big for this space and when you have a limited amount of space every inch counts so we are going to sell this and buy a refrigerator that fits this space better although we have a 40 gallon freshwater tank and a shower we have no hot water heater definitely need one of those another thing is to reseal all of the windows in the entire van after 30 years all the seals are starting to come off the last thing we really need to fix is the AC and heat system in the entire van. The AC and the heat doesn't exactly work in the dash, and it also doesn't exactly work in our rooftop system. Living in a van in the winter, you definitely need some heat. Although we have a very large to-do list, I'm really excited to tackle all of those projects. We will be on the road as soon as we can. It is November 9th and it is 73 degrees out. Frank has been in the shop for over a week at this point. So we've really just not accomplished as much as we'd hoped we would. But at the same time, we don't need to rush out of here necessarily. So once we feel like Frank's ready, then we'll be ready. But with weather like this, and a view like this, I don't know, can you blame us for uh, wanting to stick around just a little longer? Frank has been in 
in the shop for about 10 days and this is my first time actually getting to ride inside. I like it. Does it? Yeah. I'm gonna guess how much it is to fill up. <laughs> 209. I'm curious of how much is gonna be put in here. Like 50 bucks, 60 bucks? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be $63 to fill up. It's uh it's on E. The people who were fixing it for the last week, they said that they actually ran out of gas and had to fill it up. They added that to our bill. Considering Nathan didn't take a guess, I'd say a one. That was pretty close.